Hello. About like two hours ago, I watched the Mario movie. I made a, my review about it, but the video took so long to upload because of internet issues. So I'm going to make a quicker version of that review. Positives about the movie. I like the references that they put in the movie. Like, you know, they're not, you know, very hidden. Some of them are not very hidden in the movie, but like, you still understand the reference, even though you're not a, hard, a hardcore Mario fan. Like, even if you haven't played one bit, like, any of the games, you're like, oh, isn't that the thing from, like, from, like, one Mario game? Another thing I like is that they add old elements of the Mario games. Like, they added Foreman Spike in the movie. And they also put the giant eel from, like, Mario 64 that, like, gave kids nightmares. One thing I also liked about the movie is that the performances aren't that bad. Chris Pratt isn't bad in the movie. Seth Rogen isn't bad in the movie. Jack Black and Charlie Day are probably like my favorite, like my favorite performances of the movie. Like Jack Black being like the top tier. And the movie looks visually gorgeous, you know? The beginning of the movie, you have Bowser destroying the Penguin's kingdom. And then, yeah. And it looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Like the buildings crumbling down, the fire of the ship, the details on like the little, on like the troops and Kamek and Bowser. It, it's gorgeous. And speaking of the penguins, I think that the penguin general has to be like my favorite character in the movie. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it's just that his lines of dialogue are kind of, are kind of funny. Like whenever he meets Luma, whenever like Luma says something depressing, he's like, oh, thank you. Like we haven't been depressed already, you know? Another thing I like about the movie is that some of the jokes made me laugh. Like not all the jokes got me. It's like 70, 30, like every, like every seven joke didn't like, Every third joke, or is it 30, 70? Like, three joke, like out of every three jokes that made me laugh, there are seven that are like, oh, well, this was supposed to be a joke, but go, but I didn't laugh. Also, another thing that I like about the movie is that even though that they like to rush everything, they're like the action set pieces are still cool, especially just seeing like Donkey Kong and Mario are like, yeah, you, we see a bunch of power bricks, so let's use them. And one of my flaws with the movie, well, my flaws with the movie is that we barely get to see Luigi. Like, I get why they had to separate Mario and Luigi because, uh, you know, because to make Luigi's Mansion or something like that. But like, honestly, I think the movie would have worked better if it was just Mario and Luigi without none of them being captured, really. Like, Bowser's already that big of a threat. Why, why want to, you know, capture Luigi? And there's literally adds nothing, nothing, like nothing to like the plot of Luigi being captured. Also, and also, like, throughout the movie, it's Luigi trying to catch up and, and Mario, you know, eases through, like, eases through, like, an obstacle course, like, at the beginning of the movie. And honestly, I think, and it could have been a better, you know, um, uh, character development for Luigi to actually know the obstacle courses that Peach does and Mario struggles to fail because he's too competent. And it results with like Luigi ending the obstacle course and you know saving his brother. Another thing I don't like about the movie is copyright music. Yeah, Chris Pratt was in a movie called Guardians of the Galaxy where they actually use good ass music in scenes that actually fit the tone of the song. But in this one, no. It's just, oh look, Thunderstruck by ACDC, Take On Me by AHA, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Get it? Because they're in Brooklyn, New York. Well, like, uh, well, any song that isn't copy, I mean, and also I, I've also the DK rap was good, but they uncredited the song, you maniacs. So yeah, anyways, the movie's great, eight out of ten. But like you said, but well, why is the big but at the title? The people, and so you know when people like overreacted when like the critics gave it like a bad score, like a fifty four percent of Rotten Tomatoes, and now everybody's like, I mean, the movie is like the movie isn't bad, the movie's good. Yeah, they're like. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like see saw like a man posted his like honest review on Twitter saying it's not bad, not a, but it's not a good movie. And everybody harassed him. They all attacked him. They all are saying like you don't have any opinions. You know they try to dox him. Like holy crap! Like people really want to state their opinions. Like Mario movie is good. Like to them, the Mario movie is like the perfect movie. You try to say one bad thing about it, and everybody's just gonna harass you. Like it's a like it is like it is a battlefield there on Twitter to say your opinions about the Mario movie. It's like my God, you think the critics are crazy? Look at the audience who actually who thinks that they have the right opinions about the movie. 
So yeah, Mario movie, my opinion, was great. Uh, my only thing, the one thing I don't like about it is the, um, you know, people have to, you know, stay away from other people who think that, who think that the movie is like perfect. If some, if you go up to someone and they say, oh, I thought the Mario movie was bad, was like the best movie of all time. Stay away from them. Just stay away from them because there's probably an opportunity they're going to attack you if you say like one bad thing about that movie. But anyways, yeah, that was my review. I give it an 8 out of 10. I thought it was a fun movie. I had an ear to ear smile throughout the entire movie. It was fun to watch with my mom, my sisters, and my cousins, and my aunt and my uncle. It was a blast watching it. So what but what are your what are your opinions on the movie? Do you think that the movie is good, bad? Could, did you get overhyped? Like I did because the trailers made it look like it was gonna be such a good movie, but like the movie was like but the movie was like underwhelming. I wouldn't say it's like underwhelmingly bad. It's just that I got so hyped to the trailers where I kinda like like it's like I got so high from the trailers, but then I was like kind of under like underwhelmed by like what we got. But I still thought it was a good movie. But what what is your opinion on it? Like what is your opinion on it? Do you think the movie is like good? Do you think the movie's bad? Could have been better. So anyway, see you soon.